Good morning. I think it's January 5th. This is Glenn Miller on uh, Uncle Bubba's Orland Farm. I thought I'd uh, give you a little look at this truck cab I'm working on over here. So let's walk over and take a look at it. It's that old Willie's I'm working on. This is 62 I picked up. This truck here, this cab, now complete. I've gone through pretty much all of it, inside and out, even inside of these A-pillars. Uh, working on the, cutting out, and removing rust, welding in new uh, new metal. I've welded metal across the top of the roof up here on the inside. Come from a donor truck. Also this piece here. This piece right here all the way across was changed. Some structural up in here. It's got a new roof on it. Put new rocker panels on it. Got some floor patches put in it. Here under the driver's feet. Probably about half of that floor there, that driver's foot well. Same with the other side over there. Um, this thing was rusted pretty bad. All of this stuff had rust in it. I, I took all this off of the, the cab and, and patched it and repaired it. There was rust through here. Same with this side over here, rust. This was all rusted out. Got a little tight right here. This was all rusted out. I cut it out and repaired it. Behind this piece, there was rust up under the dash. I could see, but I couldn't get to it. So I cut this piece off, took it off here, and uh, repaired the rust behind there. There's structural up here, up here under the roof that I, uh, pulled out and re replaced so, so got new rocker panel on this side some rust repair down here around here both sides these are famous for rusting on these trucks so is this piece up here this piece of rust I'm, I don't know why but it blows water right up on the roof of the between the inner and outer roof and it rusts out but I've got this all painted up and ready to go back on the chassis so I did some rust repair down here this was caved in somebody made a pretty quick stop with it and uh, I worked on it I got it out quite a ways but I couldn't get it all out so this truck still needs to be rubbed out and uh, um, polished up a little bit and it'll, it'll turn out pretty nice. I got a couple runs in the paint when I was painting it, but I can work those out and polish them up pretty good. So, here comes one of my calves. They see me out here. They think I'm going to be throwing cabbage to them. And there's some leaves laying there on the ground. I could throw that to them. Let me take you a... Oh, what happened here? My tailgate fell down. I wonder how that happened. That's not good. I'll scratch it all up. Let me walk you out back here. There's my 57 Chevy sitting there. I need to do some cleanup around here. Bubba, you need to clean up around here. So I'm working on this chassis to this truck back here in the uh, in this little shop I have. See if I can get a light on in here. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this in here or not. But. Uh, Right here's the axle, rear axle and pumpkin that come out of this chassis. Uh, it's all painted and uh, ready to go back in. 
Here's one of the trailing arms. It's painted, ready to go in. It's all ready to go back together back here. Chassis is all painted up to about right here. Um, I, I have this all sandblasted except for the front suspension here on both sides. And uh, I finally figured out that I have to get it painted and get the rear end put under it before I can start tearing apart the uh, suspension and getting it sandblasted and painted. So it was um, flash rusting because it, it sat all summer because I was working in the garden, which I thought was going to be spare time work. But it turned out to be full time work and nothing got done here. So there's coil springs. They're painted up, ready to go back together. I need to press some bushings in here on both of the trailing arms and uh, there's the any sway bar right there it needs to have bushings pressed in it and then I'll start assembling this and I've been wanting to do this for the last couple days but just haven't got to it. This chassis is painted, it's covered with dust but it's got a nice industrial coat of gloss black on it so it should look pretty pretty nice when I get her finished up and get her washed up and get that cab back on here. You know, I can start reassembling this. The uh, front fenders for the truck are up there. Uh, the inner front fenders are behind the curtain over there. They're done. They need, uh, need to be put in color. Uh, uh, high build primer and blocked out and put in color. The uh, The uh, hood of the truck is sitting here on my old GMC. And it's done. I had the major rust repair to do on this hood, but it's done. It needs to be shot with some high build and uh, blocked out and color put on it. And once I get that done, then uh, I'll start working on the, on the bed and getting the bed put back together. Howdy boys. Howdy boys. Yeah, you want some cabbage? This is uh, going to be my garden area out here next year. Um, this fence you see running down here was right down along that row of cabbage there and I moved it over and we're going to expand to about twice the size here next year. It's a big garden. It's about 375 feet by it's got to be 60 or better. Too damn much work for me, I'll tell you that. Need to mow the grass around here too. Okay, well, you can see I got my laundry hanging out on the line today. So, I'm going to go ahead and have a cup of coffee. This is uh, Car Collector Glenn on Uncle Bubba's Orland Farm. Nice day today. Rained all day yesterday. Over and out.